something about this yeah. girl, man From around she my way Never try to hold back your feelings yeah. But it just for But when I finally found the words to say Myself when I changed the score, you said my sex was a lot, but my brain gave you more. Huh? scrap hair that was on that bed when I left that last video. You saw me sewing it. Here it is. Now normally I don't wear it this curly but I just wanted to see how it looked because I had all these dimensions and different colors and stuff but they landed perfect. They landed perfect. I placed them perfectly. So this is about as much y'all gonna get from me when it comes to color. I, I can't do that um that blind stuff. No. This some highlights. Yeah, fine. And then look how good this closure still is. It is dumb. it is melting. Okay? It, them children was about to throw this away. Don't I know it sounds crazy because y'all is not a stylist. I am a hairstylist of 30 plus years. Y'all know this already. So I can make anything work. There is no lane that I'm in. I done did Jerry curls, Mary curls, everybody curl. In New Orleans, I was known for my sculpture, deep waves, sculpture ponytails, French twists, ocean waves, finger waves. I was known for all of that stuff. I came to Georgia, had to learn Georgia way. They were dealing with silk presses. So it was what it was, had to jump on a bandwagon. Then the trend started coming with the wigs, had to jump on a bandwagon. But the bandwagon is pretty much over. Yes, you can still wear these units. Yes, you can still make and create them 
I've been doing it for a long period of time, but I don't promote wigs. I just make them. I'm a private hairstylist. I'm not a loud hairstylist. I'm a, I've always been private with my business. Game about to change now because I'm trying to retire. Okay? I'm trying to come from behind the chair. Okay? It's time to get the building now and have a staff. That's why I picked this camera up. That's why he been telling me to pick this camera up. The time is now. But we're not going on that. We're not coming on here with all that nonsense. We coming on here to... What do you think? I look like a grown woman with this hair. <laughs> well, I am a grown woman, but hey, you know. Uh, yeah. This boss right here. This date night right here, boo. I'm gonna find somebody to take me out. Don't worry, it's coming soon. I ain't in no rush for that though. I'm, I'm, I'm too focused on my business right now. But yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. I done told you guys time and time again, hair does not spoil. Hair does not spoil. Let me show y'all the back. Cause I got everything pushed to the front right now. Let me show y'all the back. It is full. I got all these tight curls in it. I'm trying to. These tight curls, they're going to drop, though. But I kind of like it like this. But I don't normally wear it this tight. Can y'all see it? Y'all know I'm short. Sure. And it is long. I was not expecting it to be this long or this full. This hair is long. It is full. It is giving. It came out very nice. Very nice, y'all. I love it. This is the type of uh, look that one of the twins like wearing. Because when she said, I already know when she, when she saw it, what she was going to be saying. Oh, I'm about to be wearing that. Oh, I'm about to be wearing that because right now she have a uh, quick weave in her hair that look just like this. Same color, same dimension, but it's a bust down. And Leger did it. And Leger did a good job on it. Yeah, she did a good job on it. And, um... So she said that when she take that out of her head, she want me to make a wig, make another wig, so we'll have one with a side part, and we'll have one with a bust down, but with the same look, this very same look. But yeah, y'all, how y'all day is going? I hope all is well with you guys. I hope all is well with you guys. Yeah, I have a lot on my agenda. So I'm going to have to, um, uh, uh, I, I, I don't feel like going off into all of that because I'll discuss it later what I'm trying to do and what I want to do and what I'm going to do. And I need for y'all to be prepared for me to do it. I don't want to uh, drop too many nuggets right now, but. Somebody have to make a change with the YouTube stuff. Because everybody doing the same thing. Everybody talking in their bedrooms. Everybody looking in the mirror. Everybody brushing their teeth, washing their face. Everybody going to Target. I know, it's, I know it's a vlog. And you're supposed to be vlogging your life. I don't want to see you brush your teeth. And I know, hey, cut, cut it off. Get off my page. You, you're right. But if I feel that way, other people feel that way too. Don't, your skincare, yeah, don't don't brush your teeth on camera. And you see the foam in your mouth and you spit. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Some things just don't need to be in the camera. Now I know that it's a vlog. You're supposed to be vlogging your life. Hey, whatever. That that's the case. Shit on the turtle, then let the world see that too. Fight out loud. Some of y'all do that, do I done heard you. You talk about it a lot. Hell, I do that. I don't care. But what I'm saying is a change have to be made. So I want to talk to y'all about that change. Because I think I'm about to make it. I'm about to make that change. Good morning. No. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, y'all. Hold on. I'm looking at my GPS. Let me cut my air. No, not cut my air down. I'm just hoping I'm talking loud enough for y'all to hear me. And if my air condition is a little loud, I'm sorry because it's hot out here. 
I'm on my way to the doctor, y'all. It's time for some annually visits at the doctor. I got like a 50 minute ride. I'm going to Sandy Springs to uh, see my primary um, health doctor. It's time for some lab work. It's time for some woman checkups. You know what I mean when I say women checkups. I hate them things. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. But it's, it's time. The house hunt is about to start as well. So this this my year, y'all. This my year. I ain't gonna say everything that the devil took from me, I'm getting back. No, 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 no. You know, trials and tribulations is a part of life. It's a growing experience. It's a learning experience. I take the good with me and I leave the bad behind. I don't regret nothing that's ever happened in my life that went left or sideways or wrong or betrayals or lies and deceit. I, I don't regret none of that stuff. I don't regret none of that stuff because all that stuff built my character. This is the first time I felt free in years. My turn. I'll say it again. What God say? Let your latter years know. I'm saying it wrong. Your latter years will be your better years. Oh, that's my new saying, baby. I live by it. I live by it. I have so much good going on right now. And I also have a lot of distractions that the devil keep trying to throw my way. But you're not winning, partner, because I know how you roll. I know how you roll. I know how this game go. This game called life. And then a lot of times, I ain't going to give it to the devil. A lot of times, I'm going to say, there ain't nothing but test from God to test your strength, to see if you're going to hold up, you're going to stand strong, you're going to pull through. Yeah. I accept it all. I accept it all. When I say I accept it all, I accept it all. I don't let nothing bother me no more. You know, because if you're trying to walk this walk with Jesus, Baby, you about to walk a life full of trials and tribulations because there are a number of tests to make you stronger and to build your faith. But I know y'all know that. But I ain't about to start preaching to y'all. I ain't about to start preaching to y'all. I just wanted to check in and let you guys know that I'm headed to the doctor and I'm doing some running. I got to go home, y'all. I got so... I got to shampoo my rugs in the house. Cause they gonna keep these people house up Cause it's not mine Cause I want all my money back When it's time for me to get up out of there That's why I ain't doing too much to it Cause anybody know I would have had that house decorated And laid from front to back But that ain't my stuff I appreciate them letting me go in the garage And flip their little garage You know to a certain level It still is not how I would normally have it But it's a decent workspace So I ain't tripping but I'm about to get off of here, y'all, because this highway making me nervous. I'll pick y'all back up a little later. All right, y'all. I'm back home from the doctor's office. I got good report from the doctor, y'all. I got good report from the doctor. Let me just say this. Um, witness was April of... 2019, I had a breast reduction in Miami by Dr. Laurentine. I had a breast reduction. And um, I was botched. Botched bad. I mean, botched real bad. Uh, the images are kind of graphic. I don't know if you two will discard them. But I'm going to put a little flash right there, quick. I received the anchor cut around the areolas and underneath. And the heavy type as I was, I, I'm so big on perfection, I just wanted them right. I just wanted them to come out right. I didn't know if me not getting implants would make a difference. Because they was like, okay, sometime when you cut it off, they could be flat. And they, all the tissue that I have 
still in my breast. If anything, they look like they're growing back. So I'm telling you guys now who is in, getting interested in going to have breast surgery because I see a lot of y'all talking about y'all about to get breast reductions. Don't get implants. If you have a lot of tissue already in your breast, you do not need implants. If your doctor know how to fold and tuck and mold, you, you do not need implants. That is the mistake that I made. Listening to... um people's opinions other people's opinions i did my research and stuff like that i just wanted perky breasts because i always had large breasts and after i had my kids hell i was looking like my dear by the breast when i put my good supportive bra on yeah i'm boss but when i take that bra off a hot mess so i i always wanted them done and i got them done in april 2019 like i said and the implants serve no justice. They are behind the muscle, but they don't serve no justice for me. When I say no justice, they serve no justice because my breast has back falling. Because you know everything got to flop and drop and fluff and all that surgery conversation stuff they be saying. So they have fallen and stuff like that, but it's like the imp I feel the implants up here and more like on a side because well, after I got my surgery I was wondering why was the side of my under my arm so swole now I am broad yes I am broad so he put it more on the outside versus pushing them on it botched I ain't going through all that botched so I'm going to say for the last two years I've been trying to get this corrected uh, maybe this wasn't in a time frame. I was going through a lot. I was going through my divorce. I was trying to move. I was selling my home. I was going through a lot and my pressure was in the way. I couldn't get my, um, my doctor's excuses, um, you know, passed my, you know, my doctor papers passed, certified passed, or however you want to call it. Because, um, my pressure, I was dealing with my pressure. I was dealing with my pressure. And my doctor was always like, let me tell you your pressure. That's the number one solid kid. Nigga, I know. I exercise. I eat right. Do to my best ability. But it was life. It was, I was lifing. I was lifing hard. I was lifing hard around that time. And, um, and, and my pressure just wasn't in control. So, of course, they're not going to do it. And I, and I was okay with that. So, I still got a $500 deposit that I was either trying to get back or not lose. Because you know it's two years. After two years, you, you lose it. So, I know I'm past them two years. So, I called the other day and asked them. I said, well, you know, what about my deposit? Because now my pressure is in control. Da, 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 da. But the thing is, I don't want them to do it now. I want someone else to do it. And the only way for me to regain my deposit back with them, I have to let one of their doctors do it. And I don't want their doctors to do it. I want Dr. Earl to do it. That's who I want to do it. Dr. Earl, he's in Miami as well. And he specializes in breasts. He specializes in breast reductions. And I... I mm, yeah yeah and i know what to expect now and for those who don't know what to expect that's a long recovery that's a long recovery do not let nobody tell you nothing about no six weeks one week two week you could be yeah you'll be up moving around in your house in pain yeah you could be up in the grocery store shopping in pain yeah you could be at work working in pain you you can move around You'll be able to lift slowly, barely, and, and stuff. But you, you, that, man, what? Man, I got serious work done. I got breast reductions, areola reductions, um, 300 cc, 300, 300 or 350, one of them. CC's put behind the muscle, small. And I only got them small just for shape, just, just for a shape. Versus, I don't mind the teardrop look because I'm trying to get the teardrop look right now. Man, when I went and got my mammogram done after that um surgery, once I was able to get a mammogram, and I'm telling excellent lady because you know they ain't supposed to tell you about your mammogram. You're supposed to let the doctor and stuff explain to you about your mammogram. What I looked, I saw all that. She said, This all you because I'm scared that when she smashed and stuff like that, when she smashed that. You're going to bust them, but they're behind the muscles. So she couldn't get to them. All the things she's smashing is 
my breast tissue. And that's one thing for those of y'all considering this. Please get it behind the muscle. Do not get it not behind the muscle. Do not get it in your in your uh cavity space. Do not get it. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But do not get it in that space because you can, you know, it can get hard. They can rock up. They can lump up. They can just look like two big grapefruits sitting down. Uh, no. Get it behind the muscle. It still will look realistic. It still will sit up nice, perfect, all that kind of stuff. Blah, blah, blah. But just make sure you research your doctors and make sure that you have your stuff straight and under control because... These doctors out here getting it. They hustling, but now they done passed this law to where none of them can't um, have so many patients a day. None of them can't have so many patients a month. None of them can't have so many patients, whatever. So that's a good thing. I hope they following them rules because them people dropping like flies more and more and more. And if your health is not into part, don't mess with it. Don't take no chance with that. Don't take. I did my breast because, you know, Issues, situations, being top heavy, can't wear stuff, can't do this, can't do that. Shoulders hurt, back hurt, neck hurt, lungs hurt, every damn thing hurt. But now, like I tell y'all all the time, God's timing is perfect. God's timing is perfect when I say it is perfect. Because now, I go to the doctor yesterday, I get wonderful reports. My doggone blood pressure is immaculate and i ain't really been taking that medicine i just been changing up my eating leaving that sword in my lungs because i'm a crawfish head i'm a seafood head i'm a seafood burrow head i'm a fried fish platter head I'm, I'm all the wrong stuff even though it's seafood and i eat vegetables with it and i drink water with it it's still bad all the sodium but if your health is not up to part don't mess with it it ain't worth it it ain't worth it get your health intact and then go and and, and check it out so now that the people done told me that I'm great with my um with my issue, I mean with my blood pressure and stuff like that, I think I'm about to consider it. I'm about to go consider getting an explant. Go and take them out, um, get a scar revision. I ain't gonna worry about my areolas because I don't want them touching that because my areolas didn't come back to like, Lord, I'ma say six months to a year. I ain't had no feeling and I was getting scared. Hold up, my phone ringing. But um, but yeah, but I'm considering um going back, getting it taken care of because it's a. I was already. I'm not gonna say insecure about my breasts because my husband loved my breasts. He felt like don't touch them, don't touch them, cause you they, they big titties. Duh, nigga, you don't want me to touch them. But I don't like them cause I'm trying to wear certain blouses. I'm tired of buying these double D, triple D, four D, uh. 38 all this no no I'm, I'm sick of it i want to be free i want to walk around with no bright even though i was and i didn't care but i'm speaking of when i go outside you know i still want to wear sexy shirts where i don't have to be worrying about taping tape and i used to rip my skin up with duct tape oh my skin used to be toe up messing with all that stuff so i'm like forget it i went under the knife and i got it done to come out worse than what i was now i'm smaller yeah, but now as I'm gaining weight, they're gaining weight. And please believe and know this, that when they come back, you can't fool Mother Nature. That's one thing about the body. You cannot fool Mother Nature. You cannot fool her. You cannot fool her. You cannot fool her. Because when you gain weight, it's coming back. Because it ain't nothing but fat taken from your breast. It's tissue. And fat replicates. It, it, it keeps going. It keeps going. Why you think they like taking belly fat and putting it in the butt? It keeps going. Got that done like seven years ago. That stomach back. Oh, that belly back, boo. Oh, it's back. And now dealing with menopause and all that other crazy stuff that, that come with it, it's hard to get rid of. But I was considering a tummy tuck too. But I'm, I'm a woman of a certain age and I have to be mindful that I don't heal fast no more. Because when I got my C-section done, um, I got six section with, with all my kids, with the twins, of course, and um with my son. I got two parallel uh cuts right above my VJJ. You could barely see them, but I was young then. I was 25, 26, 27. I was young then. You know? with that being said, that's why I feel I key lord is so bad with my breast. But they were saying that in that area, you key lord like that in that area i i don't know i don't know but i don't like it it is ugly 
So now I'm back to square one. Like, still can't wear certain stuff because I'm trying to hide the skulls. And then they hurt. Key laws hurt, if y'all didn't know that. Key laws hurt. They have a little stinging sensation and, and stuff like that. But um, it's all good. I'm going to figure it out because I'm going to take care of everything that I need for me. Because I told y'all it's my time right now. It's my time. It's my time. And what you do, you do for you. You don't do for nobody. I did it for me. Okay, I was fine before I had my surgery back in the day when I got um, my BBL and liposuction. That was botched. Everything I'm doing now will be corrections. It will be corrections. I got scars on my stomach too. The fibrosis tissue look, all that mess. Now that my stomach is getting back fat, you can barely see it. But when it was super flat, man, you saw all that. You saw all that botch. Not when I then I wasn't. I didn't do research like I was supposed to. Oh, I'm up on all of it now. But then I asked myself, girl, do you you want to go back through all that? Cause I'm a punk. I'm a punk when it comes to pain. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a punk. And that's why I wanted my breast done so bad because my body was done. So now my these long ass titties don't match it. So no time. It's time to cut cut time. So. And then I was like, you know what, man? I ain't tripping on nothing. I'm just going to get it in the gym. I'm going to fix it in the gym. I'm going to fix it in the gym. I'm going to fix it in the gym. But now menopause in my way. It's, it's like blessings and curses always running parallel with me. Blessings and curses run parallel. I ain't going to call it a curse, but challenges. Blessings and challenges, you know. It's whatever. But I got I got bigger fish to fry than to be worrying about some titties right now. I just was happy to know that when I make that decision, I'm able to do so now. And my pressure is low now because I done got a lot of chaos out of my life. My pressure is in control now because I done, I done stepped away from negative areas. I done stepped away and I don't allow negative error in my space. I'm talking from friends, family on down. I ain't just speaking to my husband. I'm speaking to about friends, family on down. I don't care who you is. Don't care who you is. Don't come around me with all that. I'm not trying to be insensitive. I'm not trying to be none of that. Stay from around me with, with the negativity. But let me get up because y'all know I can rank. We're going to have some tea time. We're going to have some talk. We're going to have some, some big girl talk. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go get our little wine and stuff like that. And we're going to chop it up. We're going to chop it up. Because I can drop some gems on y'all. I can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can tell you a few things, you know, from life experiences. I really can. I really can. Been there, done that. Trust me. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. But I, I'm going to ease all that in on y'all. I ain't, I ain't got to jam everything in one video. I'm, I'm going to ease all that. But I'm about to get up so I can throw uh, uh, shampoo in this drug. Hmm. Your boy got the full body to rag out. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that like stocking. Just joshing. Spend this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top 10. I can put the ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro, just song, give me that tempo. Told cool, get fooled with this shit. Told her, don't let her friends know. In the field, and I move like a dime. Even better, cheat me a Vincenzo's. I like to call it a passion. I can be sitting relaxed. PG, we getting some traction. I'm at the video, it's packing. I'm digging her accent. I got a that's my type of distraction. That's my type of she like it. Got my own flow and I'm about to get a patent. Brand new sheets for the bed they set. Y'all was the tune back in. I swear they keep jacking. I ain't doing no verse, quit asking. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that like stocking. Just joshing. I'ma spend this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top 10. I can put the ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro test song, give me that tempo. So cool, he a fool with the shit. Told her, don't let her friends know. In the building, I move like a dime. Even better, cheat me a Vincenzo. So.
Look at me. Walk over that way. Look, girl. You got me in there. Look. You messed them up now. You look a mess. I remember the post that. Let me see. Let me see, Tutu. Tutu. Come on, let's lay down. Take them out. No. Hey, y'all. That was a workout. I'm so tired, y'all. Y'all know I did them stairs, too, right? I did them stairs, too. I'm tired, y'all. I'm about to go to bed. Well, I ain't about to go to bed, bed, but I'm about to go and um, wash out. I done took me a bell. I wiped her off. I ain't got time to beat her. I'm tired. She'll get bed tomorrow or sometime in the middle of the week. I'm just going to have to get into the habit of knowing that the once a week thing, it got to be over with. But I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Well, I'm going to have to find some type of moisturizing soap for her. How to? See, because I need to smell good dog outside me at nighttime. Not no funky dog smell like outside. I, no. No. So, yeah. I'm going to have to find a better alternative with um, her shampoo because I do wash her with a like a flea and tick shampoo. All the time. Or uh, maybe I need to start putting conditioner in a shampoo while doing it. But no, uh, condition her after I shampoo her. I don't know. I'm going to figure it. I'm going to figure it. Come on, where should I at? Because I didn't see my last episode, so I need to catch up. And, um... See what's going on. Then I'm going to watch me a good Tubi movie until I fall asleep. If y'all don't watch Tubi, y'all sleep. I love all that low budget black mess. Because that's what it is. Mess. It's a hot mess, girl. But I love it. Tubi got some good movies, man. Good, good, good movies. My kids didn't like them at first either. <coughs> I got them watching it now. But I love I've been watching Tubi since I believe Tubi been discovered. But they on fire right now. Come. I don't had a long day today. I can check one thing off my to do list. Woo side. Then I'm going to lay down. See y'all tomorrow. Party, party, party in the barbecue. So look my body, chin the